everyone so let's talk about how to fix or handle any table space uh, uses alert that you might receive from either from OEM grid control or any other monitoring tool or, or um, from the cron jobs and cell scripting monitoring through cron jobs or you sometimes you might have to go and just check manually whether any table space is beyond a threshold and you need to fix it so when you when you receive a uh, table space alert first thing is run a query which I've uh, provided in my previous video just to get the table space uses check for yourself whether this monitoring has sent the correct alert or not so this query I've given in, in my previous um, video so this will give you what is the percent percentage use for each table space as you can see it is two percent one percent use and let's say you you find one table space is beyond a threshold value and you need to fix it so just run run this second query uh, I have I'll provide all these queries in, in the description so this will give you uh, the list of data files and all of the details for a single table space for example is asking for a uh, table space name so I'll give uh, uh, INDX01 so index table space has a uh, three data file and uh, um, it's size like 10 MB this is auto extend on the second one is auto extend off uh, and the third one is auto extend on now the first one way to fix it is uh, if your auto extend on and uh, your file size has reached the auto uh, max size then maybe you may if, if it is maximum you can go max size 32 GB um, in Oracle so if if it is less than that you can may you can think of resizing it max size to a uh, higher value let's say it is for example let's say it's 2 GB and you max size is 2 GB and your file size is also 2 GB now you have to extend it so you can extend either max size to 2 GB to 5 GB so it will keep on extending automatically because auto extend is on so as you can see you can have uh, in a, in in a, in a table space you can have some data file auto extend off and some data file auto extend on that is allowed but not practiced in 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 the real real world but technically you can you can do that now <coughs> to uh, to do to do that to if you want to extend the max size so i will run a alter database uh, let's say i'll run this alter database 01 max size so one thing to remember when you are resizing uh, this the, the size bytes or max size or you are changing the auto extend on you have to do a altered uh, database because you you are altering something on the database you are altering the data file and data file is one of the component of the database so i i did two things actually i did a this is auto extend on is not required because already auto extend is on but I changed the max size to 200 MB. So, but if I, as I was saying, you, you, here I did alter database because I'm altering something to an existing data file. If you add a new data file to a table space or you create table space and you are specifying data file list, they, then you have to give a alter table space. So that's the difference you have to remember. Uh, so the way I remember is if you are altering something to the existing data file, because data file is a component of a database, so it will be alter database if you're adding something adding a new data file to a table space that is alt alter to table space so you have to do a alter table space <clears throat> so this is one way you can extend the max size size other uh, otherwise uh, uh, one more thing is if you want to uh, there is one data file you see auto extend is no let's say it is now 100 MB sub so file size and it is all used up so you want to extend it you can also make it auto extend on and put a max size like uh, higher value uh, for for example I also can say this is a, is a second data file uh, so I'm not increasing the file size here I'm just specifying making it auto extend on and just specifying a max size so that will also take care of your space because now 
the f data file has uh, scope for uh, growing from 100 MB to 200 MB. Uh, most of the most of the projects and companies um, I've seen they they try to use um, they try to keep this auto extend on uh, and this file size is um, unlimited which is like 32 GB max is 32 GB so um, so it so it helps in a uh, little bit of automation because uh, if I keep file auto extend on and max is 32 GB then this all these files can grow till 32 GB and as a DBA, my job is just to add new data files. I, I don't really don't have to worry about uh, checking the size of the each of the individual data files. So there will be another monitoring which will uh, which will monitor the uh, the uh, available space on the disk, whether it is ASM disk or your file system. So you, that will ensure that you are not running out of space on your on your uh, disk. And this also uh, can help in aut automation because e your task is now just to add new data files with auto extend on. So um, OEM has a uh, corrective action feature where if in, if the table space goes beyond some value, you can add data file. You can do a lot of things, but adding adding a new data file is e easier. Um, you also can write your own script, cell script to do that. So I've seen a lot of companies use this auto extend on and uh, use the 32 GB or, or some s certain size max size. Also you can uh, as an uh, another thing normal you can do is just resize the data file um, you know, sp space. Uh, just you say alter database resize uh, 100 150m This is this this is also you can go and let's say your d data file is a table space is 100 MB and so you can increase the space in one of the data data file. So this is also uh, another way to uh, fix the your table space issue. And just one one more thing, if you if you are doing a auto extend on or off, that doesn't work with resize. This command will not work. You cannot do resize and auto extend these two options either you have to do you have to do or resize separately or if you're using auto extend then you can do auto extend separately or auto extend with max size you cannot use this auto extend with resize this this command will fail see this command will fail with auto extend off so that is one thing to remember and <clears throat> another thing to uh, as you have seen uh, in in my, in my data file output there are some oracle managed files uh, for example so as you can see there are some uh, my system sysox even users O1 MF is these are these are managed files. Um, so if you if you are also using Oracle managed file, you can uh, there is one more way of adding a data file. So you don't have to uh, sp specify either. You can just say I am adding a data file. I can say as I said, adding a data file always will be alter table space a data file. So yeah, <coughs> it's alter table space. As I said, you have to do uh, alter table space for adding data file. Alter table space index add data file. I'm adding a four data file size 10 MB auto extend on max size 20 MB. Let's. So I added this data file using a complete manually comp giving complete path and this one. I also can use Oracle manage uh, files. So I can just say alter table space find the x01 it data file and we'll just I'll just hit enter this will also add uh, a file data file with size default size 100 MB and auto extend on and max size 32 GB the path it will take it from the DB create file destination so let's check that so, 
so if you db if your db create file destination is set that means your oracle omf is enabled oracle manage file okay db create file destination is set so how it will work is it will go for this db create file destination when when you are not giving any and data file path so by default it will take user to our data slash db unique name and then data file and then it will generate its own own dot uh, db file name so let's try that all to table space index01 get data file that's it i'll not specify any path or file name or size or auto x or nothing So if you now it's added. Now if you uh, check the list of data file for INDX uh, table space, see uh, INDX zero fourth the fourth file was added manually. That is 10 MB uh, auto extend on max size is 20 MB. The fifth file was added using OMF Oracle Manage file. And so it has gone to auto data, db unique name, data file, and this is auto generated by Oracle. And this is 100 MB, 0.1 GB is 100 MB, auto extend is on, and max size is 32 GB. So you can, if your db create file destination is set, you can also, same, <coughs> you can also add data file uh, automatically. And this also helps in automation. You don't have to every time you add a file through a scripting script or automation you don't have to specify any uh, path or file name it's automatically taken by taken care by oracle so that's all about uh, how you can handle your uh, table space monitoring and table space alert uses so hope you learned something today that's all for today thank you bye bye